the conduit bug or search engine bug in Google Chrome is a real nuisance. And the key thing to remember is, is that it's not actually a virus or malware installed on your computer itself. It's a piece of malware or it's a virus that attaches itself to the actual Google account that you use. So as soon as you sign into Chrome using your Google account and you sync all your different things, particularly the extensions, suddenly this conduit will actually fire itself in there and you're going to have problems with it. So I'm going to show you an easy way to get rid of it. First of all, you go over to the menu, move down to settings, and you move down to the users. If you're just currently the only user using Google Chrome, we need to delete that user. If you've got a number of different users in there, just select the one that uh, you're having problems with and delete that user. So we go delete this user. Are you sure you want to delete yourself? Yes, you are. So I go delete there and it's gone. So now at this stage, we can go and sign in again. So generally what I try and do is just to make sure that everything is wiped off, I generally try and close down Chrome completely so that there's nothing left in the cache, open it up again, and here we are. As soon as we open up Chrome with no users, it generally brings us to the sign-in page. Now, the key thing to remember is when I sign in here, uh, there is a little checkbox down here that I want to choose what to sync. It's very, very important that we check that on. If I just use sign in username and password, you're more than likely going to press sign in without checking that on, so just make sure that's checked on, and then I'm going to go to sign in. and your password, whatever it is. Because we checked on the choose what to sync, we're brought into this sync setup page. And we need to make sure that uh, we go to choose what to sync in this drop down menu. And we need to make sure that we check off apps, extensions, and settings, all three of them, unfortunately, uh, which is a shame because it's really great that we can sync all our apps and our extensions across all our Google Chrome uh, installations, whether it be on a laptop and a desktop and so on, but so be it. This is what we have to do to get rid of Conduit. So I click OK on that, and I'm back into my settings page, and then I'm ready to go and browse. So whatever I need to do. Now, the key litmus test is, is when we actually close down Chrome completely, making sure that I close it in my dock as well if I'm using a Mac, and then I start it up again. This is where we'll find out whether we've gotten rid of Conduit. And if everything has gone smoothly, I should see my Google Chrome browser should be signed in, uh, but yet Conduit doesn't appear again. So, best of luck with it. Hope you get rid of Conduit, and fingers crossed, Google will realize what's going on here with Conduit and put in a bug fix uh, in Google Chrome fairly soon because it's really annoying. Best of luck.